We have a hot trend of weather ahead. Flirting with 90 degrees for your Saturday. Another day with full sunshine, much like we had today. And then on Sunday, we are bringing in a tiny chance of rain. But it looks like with this dry, hot air we have in place, those showers and storms are going to have a hard time getting organized. We're holding at 78. Our high this afternoon was 87 degrees. Winds are light and they will be variable through the night as high pressure still dominates our weather picture over northern Illinois. But you can see some clouds and showers and storms in Wisconsin trying to slide to the south and east, but they lose their steam as they get closer to the state line because of this dry air that we have. So what I expect is a nice bright day all over again tomorrow. Any high clouds from the overnight are going to be scouring out. We go to 89. Normal high is 82. So we see a sunny Saturday for you. And then when we time it out on our radar tracker, I want to bring in that slight chance of a shower come Sunday. Not in the morning, though, just some high clouds that could be moving in ahead of the next system. But this really is going to have a hard time getting organized. So by late in the afternoon on Sunday, that's when we could see a scattered shower, rumble of thunder. And then that quickly moves out of the picture overnight into Monday. So a Hot trend of weather ahead, building through the 90s, especially by the middle of next week. Some models pull us to the mid 90s. Also, we want to check the tropical models because we have two tropical storms now. Laura, just to the southeast of San Juan, new track just in from the Hurricane Center, pulls the center right over Hispaniola, right over Cuba. That could help hold it at tropical storm status. But the question is what happens when it gets in the Gulf? Long range models do want to bring it to a category one hurricane. At the same time, we have a brand new tropical storm, Marco. This is with the uh, new update that just came in from the National Hurricane Center. This one moving into the central Gulf of Mexico. So it's very unusual to see two tropical systems actually come into the Gulf within a day of each other. It looks like Marco coming in first, followed by Laura. So a lot of people are going to be following the weather there in the Gulf of Mexico because so many cities have the chance to be affected by the system. We just have heat, heat, heat in our forecast. Brad and Erica, some of us might get a shower Sunday, but all of us are going to feel the heat this weekend. All right, you get a hold of that boat yet for us? Right, I no. didn't, <laughs> but I'm still waiting. You still have until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, MK.